Hello guys and welcome to this new Power BI tutorial. In this video, I'm going to create the following interactive dashboard which is about New York City Airbnb data. As you can see, we are going to create different charts. So I'm going to start by creating filters. So we have two filters, neighborhood group and the room type. Okay, as you can see here, when we select one, all the charts will change. Same thing for the room type. So we have three types. Next, we are going to create cards. The average of reviews per month, the sum of the reviews or the total reviews, the number of neighborhoods and the total hosts. Next we are going to create vertical bar charts. So we have total last reviews by year, total reviews by month. Next we are going to create horizontal bar charts starting from average price by neighborhood in dollars, total bookings by neighborhood group and top 10 hosts by total reviews. We have also total neighborhoods by group, as you can see here in the donut chart. And finally, we are going to create two tables. One for the average price by neighborhood group and room type. And the last one, average reviews by month by neighborhood group and room type. But before start creating our dashboard, let's first explore our data set. So here we have our data set and you can find this link in the description. And mainly we have 16 columns. As you can see here, when we select all, apply the first column is the id so we have listing id next we have the name of the listing the host id and the host name next we have neighborhood group after that we have different neighborhoods the latitude and longitude for the maps we have the room type as we have said we have mainly three types we have the price in dollars Minimum nights, number of reviews, the last review. We have reviews per month, amount of listing per host, and availability in a year. So now let's import our data set into Power BI and start creating our charts. So here I have created a new project. And to get our data, we click on Get Data, Text CSV, Connect. Once you have imported that, you click on Load. As you can see here, we have some errors. So now I'm going just to close this one and we are going to use a filter later on that we can apply on all the charts. So the first thing that we are going to do is change the background. So you click on canvas background, color, more colors, and you write the following code. So we have FF5A60 and transparency 0%. Okay. And for the filters, I'm going to drag and drop room type into filters on all pages. And mainly we select the three types. So if we go down, we have entire home, private room, and shared room. Okay. So now we are ready to start creating our charts. First, we are going to start by creating filters. Click on visualizations, right? We select the slicer. And the first one, it will be the neighborhood group. Okay, now I'm going to format that. First, we are going to change it into drop down. Next, for the values, we have the background and it will be in white. Same thing on general effects, the border on white 20. And same thing for the background. And also for the header, the value, it will be in white. Okay, so put it in here, duplicate this one, and we change it into the room type. All right, so we have three room types and five neighborhood groups. Next, we are going to create the cards. Okay, so click in here. And the first one, it will be the average views per month. So here we have reviews per month as an average. Same thing, we are going to format that. 
so for the value we put it 15 and the label it will be 10 same thing for the so this one general so the background select background visual border on white and 20 okay so same thing in here it will be white and the value in white okay so we can put this one in here we can decrease a little bit this one so we copy this one paste it three times first one put it in here second one in here and third one in here so I'm going to decrease this one a little bit this one like that this will be total reviews okay so here we have number of reviews as the sum I just to adjust that next we have the number of neighborhoods so change this one as count distinct and last one the total hosts so we select host id as count distinct okay so like that we have our filters and we have our counts next we are going to create two column charts the first one is total last reviews by year so select this chart and on the x axis we are going to select the last view as year and on the y-axis we are going to select the count of the last review okay now we are going to format that so for the title it would be total last reviews by year right so it would be white in the center effects background we select our color border on as white 20 okay now for the visual x-axis it will be on and to increase this one like that okay so it will be white right and the same thing for the title in white okay now for the y-axis values in white title off and we remove the grid lines grid lines off off whereas for the columns they will be in white we can add the labels okay so we select values in white all right so here we have total last reviews by year the next one it will be the total reviews by month so we copy this one paste it and here so since this is the only date we have we select month in here and on the y-axis we are going to select the total reviews per month okay so here we have total reviews by month so we change the title month okay so for the title we can put them in bold same thing in here and for the x-axis we can decrease it into eight all right next we are going to create three horizontal bar charts so we copy this one paste it in here and we select this one so clustered bar chart we remove this one remove this one so on the y-axis we have a neighborhood group 
and on the x-axis we can select the count of name all right so just for the y-axis we remove the title and we can change the title so for the title it will be total bookings by neighborhood group right neighborhood group next one it will be the average price by neighborhood so same thing you can copy paste this one so here instead of neighborhood group we have neighborhood and here we have the price so we have the average price and for the price we can select it as dollar and it will have two decimal places right so the title it will be the average price by neighborhood right and third one it will be the top 10 hosts by total reviews so copy paste this one and we remove this one this one so on the y-axis we have the host name the x-axis we have the total reviews right number of reviews and on the filters we add the host id and we select the top 10 host id by the number of reviews apply and like that we have the top 10 hosts by total reviews so we change the title top 10 hosts by total reviews okay so close this one close this one close this one all right next i'm going to create a donut chart for the total neighbors by group so same thing we copy paste this one and convert it to donut chart so we move this one with this one we select neighborhood group and the values it will be the total neighbors so we're going to format that so we remove the legend for the labels it will be category percent of total and for the slices we have white next one next one okay and we change the title so we have the total neighborhoods right by group okay we can import the logo same thing you can find the link to download the logo in the description you can put it here On general border on white 20 and we can just put it like that okay now I'm going to create the two tables. So the first one, it will be the average price by neighborhood group and room type. So we can copy this one, paste it like that. And here we select the matrix. So for the rows, it would be neighborhood group and the columns, it will be the room type. Okay, now I'm going to format that. We remove the subtotals, right? For the values, text, white, background, select the background. Same thing in here. 
now for the grid border select everything in white and for the headers text in white background in the center and same thing for the arrow okay and also for the grid do select horizontal vertical both of them in white okay so like that we have the average price by neighborhood group and the room type so we can add the title by neighborhood group and room type okay now for the last one it will be the average reviews by month by neighborhood group and room type so copy this one paste it in here so instead of average price we select the average views per month okay we can change the title okay just for this one we can decrease into for example eight and same thing for the row or we can decrease the title for example we put it 11. okay so now if we close everything like that we get our final dashboard for new york city airbnb data so that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you have learned new things. Thanks for watching and see you in next tutorial.